10x your animation skills with these seven Final Cut Pro tips. I'll show you how to add animations, including a beginner tip that the pros still use. Then I'll show you how to animate text with a simple drag and drop. Next, I'll show you how to animate a logo in just one click. And to wrap things up, I'll show you how you can get over $100 worth of animation templates for free. Yeah. First, let's animate. I want to make a picture in picture effect. So I have two clips stacked on top of each other. And I want this top one to grow from nothing to a picture in picture. And then I want it to fade out. So let's go to the beginning of the clip, select it and go to the inspector. If it's not open, click this button up here with the three sliders, set a keyframe and then set scale all to zero. Move forward about a second and change scale to 35%. Nice. Right click on the viewer, select transform, and let's move this position over here to this corner. Then press done. Let's take a look at it. Nice. All right, now let's fade it out. Go to about a second before the end of the clip and set a keyframe for opacity. And then go to the last frame in the clip and set opacity to zero. Nice, fades off, that looks really good. Let's add a little bit to this. Open up the effects browser by clicking on this button and go to stylize and find simple border. Drag and drop that onto our clip. Now we have this little border around it and if we go to the video inspector under effects, we can change its color. Let's try this light purple and we can also change its width, its thickness. There we go, looks good. Now let's try it. That looks good, and now he'll fade out at the end. Perfect, I love it. Now let's add some text animations. Open up the title browser by clicking on this button and go to the build in and out section and add custom to your timeline. Select the title and then in the viewer, double click on the text and add your own text. Ooh, very original, Dylan. <laughs> In the text inspector, we can change the font. We can make it a little bit bigger. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can change the color. Let's change it to this light purple to match. And then we can use this on-screen control to move our text animation. All right, this looks good, but it doesn't do anything. It's just sitting there, it doesn't animate. So go to the title inspector and let's change some of these parameters. This template is really powerful, but you have to set some things first. So let's set in scale to zero, and we're gonna set in tracking to negative 50. We'll set the in spread to eight, and we'll set in speed to ease both. All right, now for out opacity, we'll set it to zero, and out Y position to negative 35. It's right here. Set out scale to 50, out rotation to negative 35. Oops, I forgot the negative, there we go. Out blur to seven. Oh yeah, we got a lot in here. Out spread to 25. You're gonna love how this looks though. And out speed to ease both. Okay, so what this is going to do is the text is going to animate in and then it's gonna fall away. Check it out. It's got that cool like speed and then it falls out. I love how it animates in, it kind of speeds up over time. Nice. Now in the titles browser, go down to the social section and let's add this bump fun with logo on top of our clip. We'll trim it with option right bracket and let's see what it does. That looks really cool, it adds this kind of cool intro title to it. We can tweak this a little bit and make it our own. If we select it and go to the title inspector, we can change the text. There we go. We can, we can change the size of it as well. We can adjust these colors and we can add our own logo. So we'll click on this and we'll go back to our browser. And let's find a logo and let's select this logo here. Ah, that's better. Now click apply. Okay, I wanna make the logo bigger. There we go. And I wanna bring it down a little bit. 
There we go. And then let's match our font. We'll select the text and go to font and let's search for Hornbill. There we go. And then I can click here in the viewer and I can rearrange this and center it. Perfect. Let's play that back. Oh, this is the best podcast. It's way better than Serial. <laughs> All right, there we go. Final Cut also has these cool backgrounds. Go to the title and generator browser, scroll down to generators and go to backgrounds. Let's add rays to our project and let's play it back. It's got this cool ray that spins around. Let's tweak it a little bit. I'll select it and go to the video inspector. I can change a lot of stuff in here like how much it spins, how many points there are, the radius, but I like the look of it. I really just wanna change the color. So let's add these colors here, our two purples and a blue. Nice, okay. That looks really cool, but what would look awesome is some text animations on it. Let's try this. I'll bring that text that I animated earlier over here, and I'm gonna shorten this, and here's what we've got. Oh, that's way too fast. That's all right, let's click it. It went fast because I shortened it. Let's click on that and then let's go down here to spin and let's narrow that down. Let's bring it down even more. There we go, that's what we want. But now our text, we can't see it. So I'll select that and I'll go to face and I'm gonna change this to that dark purple. Nope, the blue. There we go. And we'll put it right here above it in the center. So real quickly, we have a nice animated background and some animated text to create some unique titles in Final Cut. Are you ready to animate in Final Cut? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find this video? And in just a second, I'll show you how to animate a logo in one click. Okay, so I have this cool picture in here, but I wanna add some movement to it. I wanna animate it. So I'll go to the effects browser and I'll go down to stylized. And with my clip selected, I'll double click on handheld to add it. This adds some kind of movement to it like somebody's got a handheld camera. We can tweak the look of it in the inspector. We can reduce the shakiness. I want it to be a little bit more smooth. And we can reduce how much it moves around. There we go, we have a little bit of movement on it like somebody's holding the camera. Okay, another way to add movement is transitions. Open the transition browser by clicking this button and go to the dissolve section. Drag and drop cross dissolve in between your clips and just like that we have an animated transition. Now go down to stylized and scroll down to this photo album section here. This is a really fast way to add some professional looks to your video. Drag and drop that onto your timeline in between two clips and let's change the duration just a little bit. Now if we select that, we see different pins on here. What that does, if you watch the transition, you'll see that we have pin numbers matching up with that. So I wanna add a few more clips to my video so that we can spice this up. So we can move these pins to highlight different clips. So one is here, two is the same clip. So I'm gonna move one down here to this clip and let's move three to this clip and two is good. So now when we play it, we have a bunch of different clips in there. Nice. Let's play it one more time. And you can see the different clips in there to tell a story. Okay, let's animate a logo. First, I'll add the logo to my timeline. Looks pretty good, but we can make it better. Right click on the logo and select transform and then use these corner handles to make it a little bit smaller. Perfect and I want to move it over here. There we go, and press done. Now, in the transition browser, go to the movement section and find the spin template and drag it onto your clip. Let's shorten this duration just a little bit and let's play it back. Oh, I want it a little bit faster. 
and then select the transition. And you'll see this on-screen control. This is where the animation is starting from. And then this controls how much it twists. I want it to start over here off screen and I want it to twist a little bit more. Let's try it out. Oh, that's cool, comes swooping in. Might be too much. Let's tweak this just a little bit. There we go. Now let's play it back. Perfect. Now let's delete this second one and option click and drag the transition to the end of the logo and play it back. What the heck? That's not what we want. So select the transition and go to the transition browser and change automatic to out. And then let's move our on-screen control. We want it to move over here to the right and spin this way. Okay, let's see what that looks like. All right, the logo animates on. It's on screen for a little bit and then swoops away. Nice, an animated logo in just a couple clicks. Another way to add animation is to use plugins. I've made over 8,000 plugins from callouts to split screens to news animations. Most plugins cost money, but I got your back. I put together a pack of animated templates called All Star Pack. It has transitions, titles, effects, and is perfect for making your video look more professional. It's worth $138, but I wanna give it to you for free as a gift. Just click the link in the description below. Happy editing.